Good? Good. Hey guys, and welcome back to Morg's Menu. So as you can see, we're doing another taste test today. So this is all going to be new items from Trader Joe's. I think most of these are new to Trader Joe's in general, but they're definitely new to us and things we've never tried before. So if you've watched any of my hauls recently, uh, a couple of these came from a haul that I did a couple of weeks ago, and then the rest of them came from the haul that I posted most recently. So I'll post both of those hauls down below. Um, lots of different frozen stuff, some sweet stuff. Got it all. Got it all. And the next taste test will be all fall related things. So make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for that one coming up. All right. So as you can see, we have eight things here like we normally do. Um, and we're going to try them and we'll give everything a rating one to five. But one thing we're going to do a little bit different is instead of just eating them in this random order that I have here, we're going to take a couple seconds and rank them in our least favorite to most favorite and try them in that order and what we think we're going to like the most. And then as we've done before, we'll rank them at the end and we'll see how that compares and what we were excited for and wasn't actually that good and vice versa. Okay, so this is kind of what we went in and almost ended up being in just like kind of size order. Um, but basically the thing... I think we're going to like all of them, to be honest, this time around. The thing that I'm basically most skeptical about and not sure if it's going to be good is that microwavable protein muffin down here at the end. Um, and then the thing, two things that we kind of aren't sure where they're going to put at the top are the mac and cheese balls and the Brazilian style cheese bread. So we'll see. But this is just kind of the order of what we think mm -hmm. will yeah. go with our taste buds the most. Yes. <laughs> okay. So we'll start with the one down there. Yep. With that said, here is the protein maple muffin, microwavable, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically all I did was add um, water in it. It has a little line that you add it to, mix it together, and then you microwave it. It says for a minute and then in 10-second intervals until you think it's done. So I just ended up doing like 70 seconds. Yeah, so it's pretty easy to make. Mm -hmm. um, it actually turns out pretty fluffy in there. It looks kind of yeah. wonk, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like a pretty muffin, obviously, because yeah. you microwaved it and whatever, but... Kind of does look muffin like. Oh. Uh oh. That can be good. This is going to be your favorite. It smells very maple y. That's actually really good. It turned out very good. What the heck? Yeah. And it's gluten free. Yeah, I don't know how they did it. What the heck? But, um, super floppy. Yeah. I just assumed it was going to taste like mush or like yeah. really dry. But it actually tastes like. A muffin. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, so it's got 12 grams of protein and then it's gluten free. And I saw actually when I was there, they have a pumpkin flavor now um, for fall. So. Okay, rating time. Three, two, one, five. Five? Oh. <laughs> oh. A perfect five at the beginning? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know I haven't tried anything else yet, but a five. I mean, this is pretty good. Yeah. I like it. I mean, it's really easy too. like just as an easy like grab and go breakfast. You could eat this anywhere basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Moving on. The next thing we have is everything chia bottle rolls. So it's basically just chia bottle rolls with Trader Joe's, everything but the bagel seasoning. Um, <laughs> just leave it. <laughs> so we heated it up for like, I don't know, a couple minutes in the oven. Yeah, based on the the package says for you know best taste or whatever to throw it in an oven directly on the rack for three to four minutes, yeah. and so that's what we did. Oh, it's cut. Okay, just oh, it's already sliced. Ah. But I still want to get. Yeah, just tear it. It's probably easier to tear it. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> so just the top has the seasoning on it, not the bottom. Just for reference. So we're just gonna try the top. It just tastes kind of like bread with uh, some seasoning on it. Yeah, like I mean... Everything, it, everything bagel, really, I mean, like it's supposed to. It tastes exactly as expected. I would say the ciabatta is a little bit, like, not as good as I've had before. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not as fluffy. Not fluffy. It's, like, hard on the outside and soft on the inside. Mm -hmm. 
So it's pretty good. I mean, the seasoning's good. I like the kind of combo on top of the bread. But as far as like, is it the best ciabatta roll I've had? No. Yeah. It'd probably be good like if you made this into like a sandwich or something. And All right, you ready for your rating? Yep. Okay. Three, two, one, three. three. Average. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like if I wanted something different to make a sandwich or I don't know for a holiday or something I might grab it, but It's not something I just like want to buy every time I go there. Right Same seasoning. All right <laughs> So this is salmon slices or something? Um, smoked salmon. Right, so, so smoked salmon with everything but the bagel seasoning uh, Comes in this nice little packet um, I guess we can just use our forks to get it out. Yeah so I think you probably want to put this on like, how do you want to serve this? I think you would serve it on like a bagel or toast or yeah. like on top of avocado toast or something like that. <laughs> Appetizing. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> okay. Here goes nothing. It tastes like smoked salmon. <laughs> yep, it's just smoked salmon. Yeah. I think like an Eggs Benedict with salmon on top or something like mm -hmm. that, if you want to be fancy. Yeah. But it's just smoked salmon with seasoning on it, so. Yeah. I don't know that I love the seasoning on it, if I'm being honest. Um, I think it would be better just without it. So maybe, yeah. It takes yeah. away from the flavor. I mean, it's really salty with the seasoning on it. Yeah, I feel like it, like salmon, smoked salmon's already salty. I feel like the seasoning makes it too salty. And I like salty. So. All right, well, I'm ready for the rating. Okay. Three, two, one, Three. two. Two? Just not my cup of tea. Even though we, they, we put these stores at the bottom, I do love the everything but the bagel seasoning. Like, I put that oh, yeah. in a lot of stuff all the time. So it's not that we don't like that. It just it doesn't add anything to those two particular items. Yep. <laughs> so this next one is Trader Joe's Chili Onion Crunch. Um, says it's uh, an olive oil with dried garlic and peppers. So it's something that you that we're gonna try to just dip a little bit of bread in yeah. uh, on a plate. So um, like you see in restaurants. Um, yeah. So on the packaging it says you can put it like on top of pasta or something like that, kind of just like as an extra seasoning thing. Or I've also seen uh, people put it on edamame and like kind of create a seasoned edamame stuff like that. But we just kind of wanted to try it on something plain. So we're just gonna dip it and almost use it like you use like an olive oil dip at a restaurant. So we'll just do that with just this regular old piece of bread. <laughs> this isn't super spicy. I know, I'm a little nervous, but I don't think it is. What? It's so definitely got a kick. Yeah. I don't it's really crunchy. Like, definitely. It's called crunch. crunch. I know. I don't know that I like it in this format. <laughs> yeah. It's a little As weird. a dip on bread. But. I will keep eating it. Like, flavor's good. In another setting, it would be much better. You have enough for your rating? A whole half of the slice work. <laughs> Alright, three, two, one, three. three. Yeah. No, so these are no bake. Uh, butter bars, um, so uh, you don't want to bake them. Um, yes, yeah, so <laughs> you're explaining these really bad. So you just have to add your choice of nut butter and honey or maple syrup, yeah, as it says on the box. Uh, so Morgan made it with the honey instead of this maple syrup. I'm sure they taste vastly different if you did it with maple syrup. No, it doesn't, it just seems like sweet, is it? Oh, well, they might taste the same. I don't know. <laughs> I used it, you basically use the mix and a cup of your choice of nut butter, so we used almond butter. Um, it is salted, just for reference, and then uh, I used half a cup of honey with it. So, And then basically you freeze them um, for like half an hour or so, so that they set and then store them in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thumbs up. I mean, they're pretty basic, I'd say, yep. but they have a little crunch to them, which is nice. Um, 
Looks like there's some like oats in here as well. I'm not sure exactly what's in the mix. Looks like a million ingredients, but they are gluten free. I mean, they're pretty good. It's something different if you wanted to bring a dessert or like a snack or something somewhere. Or you could probably, I don't know like how healthy these technically are, but they, you could probably definitely use them for like a snack or a breakfast or something like that. How about rating? Okay, me too. Three, two, one, four. four. Yep. Yeah, I like the muffin better still. <clears throat> if we're comparing apples yeah. to oranges, but uh, I, I mean, yeah, we could make these again. And They're just everybody easy. would like them. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. We're getting to the last couple things which we're excited about the most. So mm -hmm. these are garlic naan crackers. So I mentioned in my haul, we get the uh, garlic naan bread or just the regular naan bread that's in the frozen section a lot. The cashier said that they're really good, so. Yes. I think we need cheese with this. Yeah, but I'm gonna taste the cracker. Yeah. It's a garlic cracker. To a layman, it tastes kind of like a normal cracker with a little garlic coating mm -hmm. on it. But, um, I mean, I like it. Yeah, I mean, it tastes really good, but there's nothing, I feel like, that stands out with it, I guess, to make it. Like, the shape obviously kind of looks not like a standard cracker, but if you just pulled those out and put them in a bowl on a cheese board, I wouldn't know that they're necessarily non versus just like a seasoned cracker. Yeah. It's probably just kind of like a marketing thing, I feel like, to call it non because you're like, oh. I mean, we got excited for it because we like the non bread, so I'm yeah. sure we're not the only ones who are like that. Yeah. All right. You ready? Mm hmm Three, two, one, four. Three. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're good. There's, it's just a cracker. Yeah. So it's a cracker. Nothing but I feel like... If we go to trade, well, I don't know. It doesn't beat up the pita crackers, though. No, pita crackers are five. Always. Yeah. So we're down to the final two. So these are both frozen. Uh, so the first we're going to try are the mac and cheese balls. So they're basically mac and cheese bites. I think it's just mac and cheese in a like kind of crust. I don't, they almost look like thick chicken nuggets to me right now. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um, but you basically just bake them in the oven for like 17 to 19 minutes, and then that's it. I'm sure they'd be good in the air fryer too, but I just did whatever it says on the instructions. All right, just one go. Hmm. They could use seasoning. Yeah, it's a little bland. Yeah. Yeah, I think, one, it could use some salt, just in general, but I think it could also, if like, I don't think the breading had any seasoning in it, at least that you could taste. And I feel like that had some good, like, garlic or, like, I don't know, green, like, parsley or something like that in it. Sure. Um, it could really help it. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's pretty good. Nothing I'm super excited about. Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, three. three. Yeah. Which well, I'm really surprised is mac and cheese is like my favorite. Yeah, right. So I thought I assumed I was gonna give it a five even if it was pretty good, but it's just kinda like maybe because I was so excited for it, it's like disappointing yeah. in a sense. So to finish our carb loading. Um, <laughs> oh god, yeah. What are these called again? These are Brazilian style cheese breads. So they are basically look kinda like the mac and cheese ball, just a little like Balls of bread. I don't, that's about description, but um, that's very accurate. Actually. <laughs> so they are. I don't know what the description is. It's basically tapioca flour and Parmesan cheese with a thin, crisp exterior and a chewy, cheesy center. On paper, it sounds pretty good. Yeah. Again, these were frozen. I just baked them mm. in the oven for like I think seven minutes or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of the bread from Bogo de Chao. Mm. That's what it is. It makes sense. It's Brazilian. Yep. Oh, yeah. We've been to the one that's in Baltimore, but it's a chain called Bogo de Chao. It's a Brazilian steakhouse. Um, it's like all you can eat 
and they bring a bunch of meats around and they have like a sat big salad bar and it's a really nice place it's expensive but it's a really nice place um but they have served bread that's really good and that's exactly what this tastes like and reminds me of mm -hmm. this is bread yeah i mean i'm already ready to give it yeah so three two one five, five. yeah no question on that yeah it's good yeah. delish all right so now that we've rated everything we're going to put them least favorite to most favorite now that we've actually tried them. Yep. And we're done. So we have the chili onion crunch as our kind of least favorite thing. Maybe that'll change once we put it on other stuff, but it just, I wasn't that impressed with it. Then we have the salmon again. I think I would just get regular salmon because the seasoning didn't do much for it. Same thing with the chia butter rolls, they were just okay. Mac and cheese bites, right in the middle, because um, they just weren't that exciting and needed some seasoning. Nut butter bar mix, crackers, and in first place we have our Brazilian cheese bread. So the one we thought we would like the most, we ended up liking the most. Oh wait, the muffin. Oh, you hit it. Just kidding. <laughs> I, this was behind, so I knew, I was like, I looked down and I remember I said that was in the middle and that didn't make sense because we don't have a middle. Okay, so we put the muffin mix in between the two. So yep. that one was at the bottom. And now it's second and to the top. And now second to the top. And Mitch wanted to put it first, but this was way too good. Yeah, I mean, they're both pretty good, but I agree with Morgan's decision. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and another taste test. Like I said in my haul and kind of at the beginning of this video, there will be another one soon of a lot of fall flavored items. So we have pumpkin stuff, maple stuff, we have sweet and savory stuff this time. Um, all new stuff, different from what we tried last year. So if you haven't seen last year's video, I'll link that down below. Um, but make sure you follow me on Instagram for channel updates when I post the next taste test. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these videos that I post on Wednesdays and Sundays. Thanks again for watching Morgs Menu and hope you have a great day. Bye guys.